Okay, today we're going to talk about Daisy Single Pumps. And right out of the starting gate, I want to talk about a soft spot I found on the 2840. This is a brown version, but they've consolidated to just 2840. Okay, so it's based on 880 engineering. And before we get more into detail with that, okay, if you have a pellet like this dial of pellet, I discovered that the pointed pellet is big head, big skirt, and even though it's lightweight and I thought it would work, it's still jammed. The first time I saw that with this gun is with an alloy pellet. So alloy is alloy is a no-go on this. Okay, so you load a pellet. Okay, you load it in there. Go through the motions here. You pump it. Okay, you obviously pump it all the way. But then when you pull the trigger, it's like you didn't pump it. Okay, don't pump it again. Don't do that. What you're going to do, you're going to pull back the bolt. Then you hear a gasp of air escape. And then you run a rod, like this rubber-coated rod, some kind of a rod, doesn't matter, there's no rifling to worry about. And then you pop that through there, pop that pellet out. Okay? Now, depending on what pellet you're using, if you have that happen twice within 20 shots, you get that pellet away from this, it's not for this gun. Okay, this is a little more pellet finicky than I, I thought originally. Okay, so then you close up after punching out the pellet, you do that with a bad BB too and then pull the trigger because I had some problems with some residual air so make sure you do that before you try loading again okay and I want to get that out of the way right at the start now compared to the Grizzly and back I did not have that happen ever with that and we'll get to that but I wanted to talk about the gun that they're offering now it is a uh, accurate with these pellets back here and People say they appreciate I vetted these. I have a thousand Econs through here. They're very light, just over seven grains, no jams, okay? So you want pellets that have a small head and a thick skirt, so it does lock, but a small head. These work. Doesn't matter how light or heavy it is in this model. If it has a big fat head and skirt, it won't, it'll jam, it, okay? But these ones did great. The old sports have been around for decades. They're a little heavier. They'll drop a little more over 10 yards away, but they... They didn't jam. And then an interesting choice is the Beeman wad cutter. They're seven and a half or 7.7. .7, so they're under eight point. They're softer lead, no problem, small head. So a small head, nice skirt that locks in there, but because it's softer lead, no problem there. So all three of those are good choices. I can definitely vouch for those. So uh, it is important just to recap that if you, you cocked it, you loaded it, you pumped it, and you just hear that click, Okay, now watch, you just hear this, just like you never pumped it. Please cock it again. Run your rod through, run that rod through. Okay, if it, that's okay, say it's your first jam. If it happens again with whatever pellet you're trying to use, get that pellet away from your gun. Okay, and okay, and then after you clear it, pull the trigger again. Okay, so let's talk about uh, the Grizzly. The Grizzly, you know, I have to bring this up or I'll never hear the end of it from the Grizzly fanatics. Okay, yes, this was the. Premier, you can almost say youth rifle, definitely the single pump for many decades. It holds 300 BBs, has almost a match style trigger like the 753, and was more accurate as a BB gun with black diamonds, at least mine's almost shockingly accurate with black diamond BBs. Um, it's not really BB finicky. Okay, uh, they discontinued it. Uh, the 2840 is easier to manufacture. It's based on the 880. Easier for the warranty officer is easy for us to fix. It's just literally two, three nitrile rings from the store. One here, valve body, and then the valve. And you can replace those yourself. Um, the valve you can get from Daisy if you need be, but pretty snap to work on. And uh, the Daisy is a little bit more, or that is the Grizzly is a little bit more involved. And uh, it is a great gun. If you happen to see one of these at a garage sale, it's not too beat up. See what uh, you can get it for. If it is beat up and you don't have one, pass. Because the parts for this are getting harder to get and more expensive to get. So let's say you have a Grizzly and you see one at the garage sale. Even if it's a little beat up, go ahead and get it for spare parts. But yeah, it's a it's a great BB gun. But uh, there are certain reasons why Daisy went with the 880 variant. This has been called the daughter of the 880. But this little soft spot that I just discovered on being very, what I now know is uh, pellet finicky. And the Grizzly never had that happen. I fired alloy pellets. I know a shooting doctor that shot uh, real heavy pellets through there. The Grizzly's different. It has a hammer system like Crossman. 
and it just uh, fires the pellet differently. Whereas this one's like the A80 has a lever that pulls the valve stem instead of a hammer. And it comes in at about just under three pumps on the A80. And it's simply with the design, uh, you need light pellets that have small heads on them. So the number one choice would be something like the Econs for this. And yes, I did really had Daisy's own pellets jam in this, uh, pointed pellets and a couple of the wad cutters. So just please remember, if you know you pumped it, you loaded it and pumped it and you know it and it just goes click, please, the first thing you do is start with that and open up the bolt. Okay, thank you.